In March 2006, this was just an ordinary, scrubby, South London traffic island. But then I had an idea. Let's turn it into a guerrilla garden lavender field. Everybody gather round, I got something important to say. We got a whole lot to be grateful for on this right beautiful day. Oh Lord, on this right beautiful day. Yeah. Clap your hands, brother, sing with me. Take another look around you now. We sure enough got a lot of love in this world. Take advantage of the things that we got. Dear brothers, take advantage of the things that we got. Uh huh. Come on, brothers and sisters, let me see your smile spreading from ear to ear. You know as well as me, there's been a whole lot of crying. Here come the troops. Yes, this is what we've got to harvest. Okay. So this is the time when you harvest, is it? Yes, yes. The if anything, we could have actually harvested it uh, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. Because it's already losing some of the oil, but it has yeah. to be dry, yeah. and it's a perfect day because it's baking, baking dry, and it means there's no moisture in here, which means it will dry um, once it's off the plant even more easily and not rot. It's easier to work in pairs or in threes, and one person, I'll just, you hold the camera. Okay. Um, <laughs> one, one person gets a handful uh, like that, uh, as big as you can manage, uh, just give it a little twist. The next person, very carefully, because this is the only dangerous bit, gets the shears in and cuts that, uh, and then you can hand that to someone else and put it in a tub or in the bag. So each year after the harvest we dry the lavender and volunteers in the Gorilla Gardening Haberdashery Division get stitching and stuffing to turn our fragrant crop into a batch of Gorilla Gardening Lavender Pillars.